Image, the role of cultural heritage tourism. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sheikh Rahman. The PhD student is Tourism and Hospitality. Today, I'm presenting the Bangladesh and Destination Image, the role of culture and heritage. <clears throat> My presentation today will be as follows, background and rational, research aim, objective and research question, relevant of study, literature review, draft conceptual framework, and planned methodology. Why culture heritage tourism in Bangladesh? Is a because of generating economic benefits, uh, means of economic diversification from uh, one main sector from governments to tourism sector is a uh, benefit of economic development. Why my interest in Bangladesh tourism? Government recognize the role of tourism in sustainable economic development and poverty reduction. However, performance this sector does not reflect its full potential and tourism arrived day by day is decreased, recorded lowest sector income from the South Asian region. Tourist sector performance in Bangladesh. Uh, sorry, I just back to the sorry. Yeah, tourist sector performance Bangladesh is a why the poor performance in Bangladesh, the lack of strategic development. Um, weak marketing system, government red tape it takes long long term to process the uh, uh, process the uh, uh, everything done, the inadequate infrastructure like road, hotel, um, transportation, everything, and political instability like always is uh, government and opposition have some fight to each other and what are the my main key concern despite poor performance bangladesh has risk uh, tourist product like the old recognized unesco recognized uh cvs coxes bazaar we have largest mangrove forest in sundarbon after that the policy is not uh, getting proper way for the season we can't uh, improve our tourist sector we always depend on our uh, the uh, ready-made garments uh, sector the bangladesh is doing ready-made garments is a uh, large second exporting country in the world um, country has not been able to recognize its tourism competitiveness poor tourism performance increase and dependency in the other sector. Destination image and relevance. What is destination? Uh, is, um, what is destination? First, I have to explain this one. Uh, according to Barley and Martin, the factors influence the destination image the journal. It described like this way, some of beliefs, knowledge, feelings, and perception of individual have of a place or destination. Why is destination is important? Destination image forms the key elements of tourist destination decision mark making. Destination 
uh, with the more positive and favorable likely chosen by the tourist. Building a favorable image through um, promoting the destination attributes become important to developing the destination competitiveness. Factors that influence destination image. Several factors is influence destination image, service quality, tourist satisfaction, uh, risk factor, uh, information sources, previous experience. However, destination attributes largely depend on the primary product is physical, environmental, and socio-culture attributes. Culture heritage resources um, to consider information source affected the destination. Is information is very important, like internet, uh, social media. If we promote the, uh, the, we have a risk culture and heritage tourist. If we promote by the social media and internet is gonna, destination is gonna take the positive view. So information is very important of a build up a destination image. Now I'm discuss about my research aim. The research aim is to develop how the culture heritage resources are promoted by key tourist stakeholder in order to attract tourists in Bangladesh. The underlying themes of the research, whatever Bangladesh could enhance its destination competitiveness by promoting destination image through promotional its risk culture and heritage resources. Uh, I have a five research objective. I'm going to explain them. To investigation the approach used by the key stakeholder to promote culture heritage tourism, to examine the promotion of sustainable in culture heritage tourism in Bangladesh, to examine the maintenance of authenticity in the promotion of culture heritage resources, to investigate the influence that potential approach and destination attributes have on tourist visitation to Bangladesh, that determine the future development of authenticity and sustainable culture heritage tourism in Bangladesh. I have few research questions as well. What approach or strategy are used by key stakeholder to promote the culture heritage resources? How is sustainable tourism enhanced in the promotion of the culture heritage resources in Bangladesh? How is the authenticity maintained in the promotion of culture heritage resources? Which promotional strategy and destination attributes to do? Which consideration as most significant to the visitation decision making? What is the future development of culture heritage tourism in Bangladesh? Now I'm going to discuss about the relevance of the study. study. Uh, understand the factors that influence destination image is important to the um, development. Most researchers focus on developing country, but this research contributes by giving a developing country like Bangladesh. A study on Bangladesh culture heritage and destination image is very limited. I'm gonna uh, expose myself in the world market. What is, now I'm going to discuss about literature part. What is culture, heritage, and culture heritage? Uh, first, I'm gonna discuss about culture. Culture is a way of life. So man is, is language, uh, food habit, cloth, as uh, the daily activities like is culture is a, a is can be viewed from and lent it as well. And now I'm going to heritage. Heritage is uh, inherit from the past. We get it from the past, and um, we brought it from uh, generation by generation. 
Yes, and uh, and culture heritage is uh, uh, is uh, overlapping using we can't divide it culture and heritage uh, together, so it's gonna overlapping. I have a I have a discuss. Uh, I have a um, UNESCO um, um, UNESCO uh, 1995. They give a cultural definition, distinguish special material, information, and emotional asset along with the language, heritage, performing arts, craft, history, building, and landscape with the together contribute a group of an individual. What is cultural heritage tourism? Um, definition of cultural heritage tourism is subject to debatable. Always like that cultural heritage tourism incorporate a wide range of tangible and intangible. So cultural heritage is tangible. Tangible we can touch the monument, archaeological building, um, uh, beach, uh, the forest, and intangible we can touch our language, our emotion, it's like that. And um, now I am, uh, I have a culture heritage is operational definition. Travel uh, by both local and foreign tourists to place an experience with culture heritage resources that authentically present the history and people of past and present. How are the culture heritage tourism? Culture heritage tourism can be classified different way. It's a foreign tourist and domestic tourist as well. And um, uh, there is a draw is a uh, study have shown that culture heritage uh, tourism as usually older as more educated, more likely female, earn a lot of money, stay longer at the destination. So tourist can be yeah, more educated, older is female. What, what consideration sustainable culture heritage tourism is a culture heritage tourism involves safeguard the culture heritage resources which meet the needs of host population uh, satisfied demand of the culture heritage trees is considered the human dimension involve balanced competitive demand of stakeholders involves good quality of management and preserve authenticity of culture heritage attraction for a long time first relevant with authenticity with culture heritage tourism Authenticity considered as the most important aspect developing of culture heritage tourism. It serves negative impact and positive impact. Authenticity linked with long-term competitiveness of culture heritage tourism. Valuable source of destination competitiveness in highlight the uniqueness of attraction and promotion of the local identity. Study on destination images in Asian country. Most studying on destination images focus on Europe and North America because of lots of university in Europe and North America and later after people over there. A few in Asia, in Bangladesh is very limited. Hussain and Firoz Jaman, strategic promotion approach, uh, approaching to developing interest in Bangladesh. They he described some uh, journal as well. Jahanar and uh, Rahman identify the key factors influence the sustainable tourism in Bangladesh. Jahara 2012 explained destination image and tourism a case study of Bangladesh. Now I'm discuss about draft conceptual framework. Uh, <clears throat> conceptual framework is built around uh, um, promotion of the culture heritage tourism. 
promoting the authenticity and sustainable culture heritage tourism is preserved as a key stimulus factor. Stimulus factor always influence the cognitive evaluation process of destination image. Stimulus factors highly uh, influenced by source of uh, information and previous vis visitation. Information is, I just explained before, the social media, TV, Facebook, Twitter, and previous vis visitation is uh, we get experience for the previous visitor, the how is feel like that, how is security, how is road, and other facilities. Now I'm going to discuss about my draft conceptual framework. A stakeholder involves, there is a, a stakeholder is a public sector, private sector, local community, super international organization and non-governmental. The culture heritage tourism. This uh, stakeholder affected the, the culture heritage tourism. Culture heritage tourism act as a stimulus factor. The stimulus factor is, is the information source and previous visitation. And stimulus also enforced affected the culture heritage trees. And cognitive evaluation process is further enforced the affection of cognitive aspect of trees total destination image. Destination image is made of three aspects, cognitive, affective, and cognitive. Cognitive is external feelings. Why I here, what I'm doing here. Affective is uh, uh, internal feelings or emotion and cognitive is why I going over there, how is feeling over there. Uh, my methodology is mixed method research address to uh, is uh, main aims to address the research objective. Mixed method research aspect the computer exists both qualitative and quantitative research. Mixed method, um, uh, philosophical assumption is pragmatism. Is pragmatism says what is the practical. Now I discuss a chart about my uh, research objective, research question, uh, target stakeholder, and research method. <clears throat> my my uh, first objective is is gonna qualitative is a this approach is used by key stakeholder to promote the culture heritage tourism this is uh, involves the stakeholder government non-governmental NGOs tourist operator and um, local community I'm doing the semi structure interview with these people and uh, second one is uh, how the sustainable tourism enhance the promotion of culture, heritage, tourism uh, in Bangladesh. The one is as well the semi structure interview. I you uh, I'm planning to take the high official governmental and NGOs uh, 35 to 45 interviews, and uh, I'm doing the a questionnaire as well. So tourist stakeholder and plan uh, 500 to 600, the tourist is foreign and domestic as well. Uh, this is my presentation. If you have any question, any comments, advice, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your presentation. Um, I had a chance to listen to your previous presentation. I must say, you made the progress to improve it. Uh, well done. And you. Uh, what I was looking at it, your um, research. When people look at the title, they automatically think what will happen next. You have imagination what kind of things will happen before you actually listen. 
And uh, as I'm a very quantitative person, I straight away think about the modeling and from the title. But it's quite interesting you use mix and versus. I have a few questions. And firstly, it's about destination image. Because destination image is the key phrase in your, uh, in your work. And you mentioned that at the beginning, say, the primary data have the most influence in developing the destination image. I wonder whether you can give some explanation who said it and, uh, and who else mentioned what kind of things were influenced destination image. Because destination image has been widely researched by the academics. There are a lot of literature, but they're basically towards one direction. And I know what I'm thinking, but I want to know what you think about what that what influence destination image. Yes, thank you for your question. As uh, so destination image is influence uh, is a destination image basically built up by this stakeholder. The stakeholder is government, the local people, NGO, tourist operator is a, if we didn't uh, build up a destination image, we can attract the foreign and domestic tourist. So we have lots of resources, the vast resources in culture and heritage resources, but we can promote these resources properly, lack of government, lack of local people. So if we make this place as a uh, sustainable, a uh, sustainable destination place we can attract the um, tourist. Okay, so you said, uh, what do you think is destination image is built by the stakeholders? Yeah, we have lots of resources we have to build. Okay, and uh, if you look at a lot of modern literature, you will find that a lot of people will say the destination, uh, the stakeholders, to promotion, they can build the frame. At the end of the day, the image is in the mind of the tourist. And so the destination image is in the mind of the tourist. And uh, the stakeholders can only build the frame with different promotion methods, strive people to believe that is the case. So I, I hope you go back to the marketing literature especially destination image, to read again. Um, because what happened is uh, there are three, you will, heard, you, will, you will find that three different sources were influenced destination image. I expect to listen actually, and uh, induced image. Organic and organic, image. And the autonomous, yeah. and all those kind of sources were influenced the image. What you have said is one type of things and please come back again because destination image is so crucial in your research. You need to make sure what you say in your literature actually makes sense. The, first, the second question, the second thing I think I mentioned before in our research seminar is I think you have three research aims, five research questions, and five research objectives. And while I was looking at your research objectives, I feel you look at fellow tourists and, and uh, suppliers or the, uh, stakeholders, but you look at both demand and supply. supply. And uh, I just need you to rethink again to how big is, is the case you're looking at. You're doing your PhD. I wonder whether you can narrow down a little bit Look at one spec. If you are heavily look at how stakeholders uh, develop that kind of frame, then you look at it from a supplier perspective. And uh, if you look at how tourists perceive that destination, you look at it from a demand perspective. And I, I see you use two different methods semi structure interview is always the stakeholders. Why the questionnaire survey is a tourist. Is with the tourist. And so you need, to, you need to ask yourself which way you want to focus on. Because they are both are very important. But they, when you look at your question, 
your conceptual framework. My automatic uh, quantitative conscience tell me you have hypothesis come out, but your semi-structure interviews will not come out as a hypothesis. So my question here is, you need to tell me what exactly the approach you're using. And you need to go to think about the game, to, to focus on the perspective. It's easier for you to carry on your work. Thank you. It's interesting, but I just feel you're doing too much. Okay, last question. Can you tell me what is the difference between the sustainability and sustainable tourism? Sustainability is a long term process. Is a, if we develop this one, we have to uh, process for long term. So if we build something that is a, on archaeology building, we have to protect as a safeguard for sustainable tourism. It's long time, um, uh, uh, a long time can visitors see it. Is a, we have to uh, make it for long term is uh, process is sustainable development and sustainable uh, development uh, if we do something today we can destroy the one we have to protect as a safeguard for uh, future visitor as well sustainable. and sustainable tourism is look like is is any tourist place we have to protect as a um, protect the tourist palace if we say lots of people it can lots of pollution we have to clean this area uh, and uh, put the proper security so it's uh, uh, it's gonna go for long term tourist place we can uh, visit the future tourist are they same or are they different? Is a sustainable is is a definition and sustainable tourism is a process like uh, we can we have to preserve this place. The reason I mention it is in your research objective you use sustainability. In your research questions you use sustainable tourism. I know what is my answer, but I suggest you be consistent. I don't want you to make a choice now, is you need to be consistent with what exactly you're talking about when you do your research. Are you talking about sustainability or you talk about sustainable tourism? Your research objectives need to be consistent with your research questions because otherwise people confuse. Okay. Oh. Also, uh, Sheik spent a lot of time trying to, like the other uh, students earlier, uh, to make definitions things, uh, to identify the difference between key terms and I think this is a progression that we still need to make and I know you look at the differences between culture, heritage and cultural heritage. I think it would be actually really useful for everybody here today to maybe have from you an example from the context of Bangladesh what might actually be culture, heritage and cultural heritage to know the differences uh, between them. Um, I think if you were able to do that we'd be able to get a better insight into it but then that level of um, segmentation as such needs to be applied to these other key terms that we yeah. use because otherwise it becomes distributed or it becomes a close <coughs> to what it is you're really researching um, and why. So could, that's in essence my question is could you provide us with an example from Bangladesh as to what we would wholeheartedly say is culture, heritage and cultural heritage so we understand the differences. Is culture I explain you is a way of life. This Bangladeshi uh, uh, people, the lifestyle, the language, clothing, uh, <clears throat> uh, and uh, the way of life, how they spend their daily routine is a culture. And heritage is Bangladesh's heritage is. UNESCO recognized the Fox's Bazaar, longest series, mangrove forest, and some archaeological aspect 
Shad Gombos Morjid. So this is our heritage product. And cultural heritage is both are is overlapping. We can't uh, explain heritage without culture. Culture and heritage is, is similar to debatable issues. So uh, Bangladesh, I mentioned my uh, uh, in my research, uh, use cultural heritage, how can I uh, make Bangladesh as a destination, tourist destination? I think it just needs to be clear because there are very key differences between there are there are overlaps, but I think in your presentation you said heritage is about the use of the past. It's about the past and its thoughts. Heritage is not about the use of the past. It's about the select how we how we what we value as resources and how we select them, how we use them. So it could be used as this could be heritage, this whole building. It's about the contemporary as well as the use of the past. And I just think at this stage you need to have a clear idea of key definitions that comprise your project. Because otherwise it's just going to, it's just going to go awry. And I agree with Rob in terms of your data collection, you're just doing way too much. It's it's unrealistic in terms of your plans, but that's all I say. Because <laughs> <laughs> so could we thank um, Sheikh please for his presentation? Thank you.